Advanced imagery analysis is becoming a common resource used in the agriculture industry to improve efficiency and management decisions. The SMS desktop software has an easy to use tool to download Sentinel-2 imagery that contains nine different indices representing crop health at various stages throughout the growing season, as well as historical data. In this tutorial, we will cover how to download Sentinel-2 imagery download options, and an overview of the downloaded information. To begin, ensure there are set field boundaries for the fields you wish to download the imagery for. If there is no set field boundary, please review the video in the card above. After confirming your field to have set field boundaries, click File and Download Sentinel Imagery from Internet. This opens the Download Sentinel Imagery Options window where you will select the date range you wish to search for available images. Please note that searches predating 2019 will result in images incompatible with SMS and an error will occur. With the date range selected, click Next. In the Sentinel Imagery Clipping Options window, you will choose to clip the set field boundary of the field or expand the downloaded image by a selected percentage outside of the field boundary. Click Next. Here, you will select the fields you would like to search for imagery to download. It is suggested that if you want to view the imagery for a specific time range for multiple fields, select all of them now rather than individually. The software downloads a large image of all the fields and then clips it to the selected fields to save time rather than downloading them individually. After selecting Next, the software will start searching for available images. When the search is complete, the Select Sentinel-2 Images to Download Process window will appear. Here you will find information on the images found with the image date, cloud cover percent, location ID, and which growers and number of fields that are contained within each image. Several filter and image quality options are available to further refine what images you will be processing. First, you will find Filter Available Images By, where you can select the amount of cloud cover allowed in each image. By default, this is set to 25%, but can be adjusted to better match your needs. As you adjust the setting, the list of available images to download will update. Checking the Hide Previously Downloaded Images box will prevent duplicate images from being downloaded. If you only want to download the most recent image available, check the Only Show the Most Recent Image for each location box. Under the Image List, you will find the Image Quality options. Remove pixels that have any opaque cloud cover or snow ice will filter portions of an image that are estimated to have snow or ice coverage or opaque pixels. Serious cloud cover can distort some of the multispectral image values. To avoid this issue, the Remove Pixels that have any Serious Cloud Cover checkbox will remove those distorted pixels so they don't alter the whole field image. To remove portions of an image that are estimated not to be plant-based materials such as roads, bare soil, or water, check the Remove Pixels that are non-vegetative. With the previous option selected, some images may have a large portion of pixels removed from the image, making it impractical to use and analyze in certain instances. When the Do Not Save data sets that have the following percentage of their pixels removed option checked, you can define the acceptable percentage of pixels that can be missing from an image. Check Do Not Import Duplicates data sets for previously downloaded to avoid duplicated datasets being downloaded. After your filter and image quality options are set and the images you wish to download are selected, you will find the estimated time for import, which depends on the number of images selected to download and based on the average high-speed internet connection. This time will be varied based on your actual internet speed. Click Start Download to begin downloading the imagery. Once the images are downloaded and processed, you will find image analysis operation under the year the image was downloaded. After creating a new map, you will find several attributes available to view. The first being in DVI, or 
Normalize Different Vegetation Index. NDVI is commonly used in season or in vegetative stages to measure the health of growing plants. Later in the season or the reproductive stage, NDRE or Normalize Difference Red Edge should be referenced instead as it doesn't become oversaturated when there's more biomass in the field. Users looking to create regions in a field based on the soil type characteristics can use the base soil index value on imagery downloaded from a date when there's bare soil, such as before planting. OSAVI and MSAVI2 values provide information for early season plant growth and are best used when a considerable amount of soil is visible in the growing season. GNDVI is used to index chlorophyll amounts, which can identify areas of inadequate nitrogen in grass crops such as corn or sorghum. Normalized Difference Moisture Index, or NDMI, can determine vegetation water content. A lower value in this index indicates stress due to dry spells. Plant Sentience Reflectance Index, or PSRI, is used when plants reach maturity and start to prepare for harvest. The lower values show where plants are drying down, whereas the higher values show where plants are still actively growing. For additional information on the calculated indices and how they are calculated and suggested use, check out the Ag Leader Knowledge Base. Now you will be able to download Sentinel imagery from the internet. If you would like to see more short tutorials from AgLeader, please subscribe to our YouTube channel.